This one is in this really cutie rust cute cutie rusty orange color it says here size 2 6 to 18 months which is actually funny because i had no idea that there were pacifiers for different age ranges so learn something new oh my gosh so i was trying to get this high chair from lalo set up for you guys and then i got a little too tired <music> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator and blogger, which I have been doing going on seven years now. I am also eight months pregnant with my first baby, a baby boy who will be born early January. I am actually now doing this as a single mom, unfortunately. My partner of 10 years and I split up two months back. Um, he struggles with some mental health issues. If you would like to know more about that situation, I will link that video for you guys. So I have been living in Phoenix for the past two months now with my parents and just trying to focus on having a healthy baby and just being as positive as possible. So today I actually wanted to film part three of my baby haul series that I have been doing. So I have a few items from my baby shower that I wanted to share with you guys that arrived a little bit later um, from some friends and family who sent me items from my registry. And then I also have a few more baby products that I wanted to share with you guys from brands that sent me things via PR. So we'll start off with the items from my baby shower that I wanted to show you guys. I am very fortunate that so many people were generous with helping me out with my baby registry. I am also very fortunate to do the job that I do where I'm able to get products via PR in exchange for social media coverage from brands because of course having a baby is very expensive. All of these things are very expensive. So just being able to have help in that way has been huge for me, especially as a single mom. I'm doing this series because I'm hoping it will be helpful for any new moms who are trying to figure out what to put on their baby registry and figure out like brands that are out there and just maybe newborn essentials, things like that. Okay, so first up is the Snuggle Me Infant Lounger, which looks like this. It is kind of in like this oatmeal color and basically you would lie it flat. There is kind of like an indentation in the middle where baby would be laying and you can use this on your bed. You can use this on a couch, on the floor and basically it just keeps baby comfy and cozy and the indentation kind of helps keep them there and not rolling over. So it's a little bit safer than just lying them on the couch or lying them on the bed, that kind of a thing. And I actually did see quite a few moms who were recommending something like this. It's of course not 100% an essential or a must have, but it is an item that is nice to have. So my aunt actually got this for me along with some newborn diapers. So that was a very generous of her next up is the freedom mom labor and delivery postpartum recovery kit so this basically has a ton of essentials in it for the hospital and for postpartum recovery after like a peri bottle disposable postpartum underwear um, instant ice maxi pads and more so this is definitely something that I've seen as a must have um, on several different videos that I watched personally. And it's something that I wanted to add to my registry just so that I could feel like I was prepared and have had everything that I needed going into labor. This is around $100, I believe. So it was 
definitely nice to have on my registry because it is a little spendy otherwise, but I have definitely heard that it's worth it. Uh, the nightgown that they provide in here and the peri bottle, the disposable underwear are much nicer than what they provide at the hospital. So this was a very generous gift from a family friend, which I am very thankful for and this will all be going in my hospital bag which I will be sharing a hospital bag video with you guys very soon. The crazy thing is is that I have about seven weeks left in my pregnancy so I'm kind of trying to squeeze in a lot of content that I wanted to film before baby gets here um, as quickly and as much as I can before his due date. So a few things that my cousin and his wife picked out for me from my registry were these, this set of four tiny kind washcloths in an oatmeal color. Um, not 100% an essential, but definitely nice to have. A baby bottle, which of course is an essential. I only have two of these so far, so I definitely need to get more. Um, I had this one on my registry from Bibs because I love the way that it looks. It's just like a very simple glass bottle, green top, and it does say Bibs on it in black, but to me, this is so much cuter than a lot of the baby bottles I've seen at stores that just have like branding all over them. And I know that most people probably don't care about that very much, but I of course am very into aesthetics. I have a background in interior design, so anything that is just well-designed, looks good, uh, branding, all of that kind of thing, I'm really into. So. I have this one and then a simple glass bottle that I thrifted. Definitely need to get on finding some more bottles. It says that this is slow flow and I don't know too much about it. I didn't do like um, any research. So I will definitely let you guys know what I think about this bottle at some point in the future. And then they also got me a couple of footies. The other one is in my changing dresser somewhere. Um, from Kite Baby. This one is in this really cutie, rust, cute, cutie rusty orange color and it has a zipper that goes all the way down the front. These I have heard great things about um, as far as how much easier they make nighttime changes and things like that. So I had quite a few of these on my registry. Okay, so moving on to the items that I got for baby via PR. First of which is um, this set of pacifiers from the brand Frigg. So they sent me two packages of um, pacifiers. It says here size two, six to 18 months, which is actually funny because I had no idea that there were pacifiers for different age ranges. So learn something new. Um, but as you guys can see, it's a set of six and um, I picked out these really cute kind of like neutral colors, uh, greens, oatmeal colors, light pink, that kind of thing. And um, these are in, oh, they're all kind of different shapes actually. And then here's another pack. They're all kind of um, different designs and they did send me quite a few of these, which I'm definitely not gonna need all of them. So I'm thinking I may do some kind of a giveaway or something like that. Or I might even just save them for gifts for um, anytime I have like moms that are having babies, we'll see. But I just loved the aesthetic of these, so cute. I know some moms swear by these, other moms do not use pacifiers at all, but I definitely loved the aesthetic of these and we'll see how my baby feels about them. Okay, so next up I have four pieces from the brand Pear that I picked out for baby boy. So first up is this very cute little jumpsuit in this kind of like foresty green color buttons all down the front, little pockets on the side. Very cute for like lounging around the house, but of course you could also dress this up for like a day outfit. And this is 
size 6 to 12 months so it's for a little bit later on down the line and then they also sent me this very very cute little corduroy um, piece in a similar color but it's not quite as green it's a little bit more on like the taupey side um, for size 6 to 12 months as well so so cute love that kind of like vintagey corduroy look they also sent these pants 6 to 12 months so I think I picked out a lot of things in that age range because I didn't have a lot for that age range yet so that's why they're all in that size range for later on down the line so I also picked these out these little French terry harem pants uh, in this really cute clay color, super, super sweet. And then the only thing that I did get for earlier on, zero to three months, is this sleeper here, footed sleeper. I don't know if they're called sleepers. I think that maybe they're called zippered footies or something. Um, this one is in the all over the world design. So it has like the London Bridge, the Eiffel Tower, and I thought that was so cute. So I don't think I have quite enough of these yet or for all the age ranges that I would need, but I have a very good start. So I need to figure that out and just look at everything that I have in my dressers, my dresser again, which I kind of sorted into age ranges. So all of these are super cute pieces. And what I love about the brand too is that their pieces are organic, um, cotton, just overall very great brand. Oh my gosh, so I was trying to get this high chair from Lalo set up for you guys and then I got a little too tired and I kind of realized that I probably should just leave this in the box um, for a little bit longer because baby's not necessarily going to be using a high chair till around six months, I believe, when they are starting to eat solids. So I'll show you guys a little bit of what it looks like as far as how much of it I got put together before I stopped. So. I picked out the, I think this is just called the chair or something from Lalo. And I picked it out in this kind of gray oatmeal color, white and gray oatmeal color. Uh, they also have this in green, lots of really, really cute colors. But I went with this one, which was a little bit more neutral. Love the legs, kind of leans towards mid-century a little bit more, but is still very transitional looking. So I love this high chair, uh, the straps and stuff I would have to pull through. And then um, there's a crossbar that goes in the middle and this is the tray. So you guys get the idea, but I'll insert a photo for you guys so that you can see what it's really supposed to look like fully assembled. Okay, so next is the Guava Travel Playpen, which same thing, I don't necessarily want to set this up quite yet. Um, I just don't have a ton of room in my bedroom for things. So I have things um, in the closet, just like left in boxes for now. So I don't want to fully put this together but I will insert a photo for you guys. So this is just a travel play pen. It's not like the typical player, play arts, players. I'm not really even sure how you pronounce that, but it's a very nice option for traveling um, somewhere to basically put baby where they can't run away, get away, that kind of a thing. And they can sleep in it as well. And it comes with this really nice foldable carrier for traveling. Okay, so I just finished setting my stroller up this is the mom push ultimate 2 stroller so this is what it looks like and it actually comes with a bassinet that i am still trying to figure out how to set up i 
just do not have as much energy these days. So I will insert a photo of the stroller and the bassinet, which you can switch between. Uh, the bassinet's great for kind of like the newborn to um, six months, kind of like the earlier on stages of the baby's life. They can just lay right in it, sleep in it, kind of like an old fashioned bassinet. And then you can move up to this um, child's seat style when they're a little bit bigger. So that's really nice. I do plan on going on a lot of walks with babies. So it'll be nice to have this stroller option, especially for um, running errands, things like that. I do plan on doing a lot of baby wearing as well, but we'll see what ends up being more convenient. And I did end up going with this gray color. I was trying to decide between black or gray, but I ended up going with a gray color because I figured here in Arizona, with all the sun we get, black is probably going to be too hot. And um, I love that it has these leather accents on the handles and everything. So I love the look of this stroller and I'm very excited to uh, have this as an option for baby. Okay guys, so that is it for my baby haul part three video. I do have a few more things on the way, so I'm not sure if I'll end up doing a part four, we'll see. But I also have a lot of other videos that I want to share with you guys. I'm kind of trying to film as much as I can today. Uh, not sure how much more I'm going to get done now though because I am pretty exhausted after attempting to set all of that up. But let me know in the comments down below what kinds of videos you would like to see from me, baby related, pregnancy related videos. I do have quite a few ideas that I plan on sharing with you guys but I would love to hear if you guys have any requests. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. And also check me out on all socials at The Urban Darling and my blog, theurbandarling.com for more lifestyle content. And if you guys do enjoy my content on these social media platforms, please be sure to share it with a friend or a family member that you think would enjoy my content as well. That way you guys can actually help me grow on here. Uh, YouTube is especially hard to grow on, so any support that I can get is much appreciated because of course this is how I am supporting myself and plan on supporting my baby. So any help I can get is much appreciated. But thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye!